So here's a super simple GUI I made for the uh, DP832. Um, so you just have to set up the uh, connect string and then it gives you, you can graph a bunch of channels. So if uh, to change the number of channels, it's just when it first starts up. So for example, if you wanted all three channels, um, you'll get three graphs and then you get channel one, two, three. Um, and you can, if you want to plot stuff on separate graphs, you can change the order or whatever. Um, but let's go back to one graph. And it defaults to plotting voltage, which isn't super useful probably. Um, so I'm going to plot either current or power is more, uh, more of use normally to me. So I'll plot current here. Um, we're connected right now. If you right click, there's a menu, so you can set, for example, a fixed axis rather than an automatically changing one. And I want to graph from 0 to 400 milliamps. Um, and I'll hit connect again to start redrawing the data. It's off screen right now, so I probably won't see it. Um, so I have a Raspberry Pi connected and the system set up to uh, five volts to supply power to it so we can watch the power consumption as the Raspberry Pi boots up um, and you can see I'm setting it up to 1024 points so you can reduce that um, and you can just click and drag to zoom in as well so let's see if we can get a bit of it better there we go um, so we can see it's starting to boot and for example if I do something like plug a Ethernet jack in you see a change in the power consumption there as it uses the Ethernet Mac. Um, and if I unplug the cable, so there it probably did some initialization and now it's just running normally. Um, but if I unplug that cable, you can see it drops back down. So that's pretty cool. The, the GUI is basically just designed for my own use for uh, monitoring current as I'm running different programs. Uh, but maybe you'll find it useful. So if so, the code's all on GitHub. Um, and note, when you're using the GUI, you can't use the front panel of the meter. You can you can use the on-off channel buttons. Uh, so you can turn the channels on and off there. But you can't change any settings. So to change settings, you have to hit disconnect first, um, and then you know set a new voltage, and then reconnect. Uh, that's all.